Hi everyone. So today I'll show you how to create this uh, realistic table cover. Okay. So we'll use end cloth to do that. And as you know, it has so many vertices, and it will be really hard for you to manually move each points in this position and keep them accurate. And also, you can you can see that uh, the beauty thing of um, end cloth is each square uh, the space. It still remain the same, so there's no distortion at all. Um, so that's the beauty of end cloth. So here I have a, a clean model for it. So before you move on to get started, I would uh, recommend you uh, finish the UV works, and if you can, also apply texture for your model. Okay, so I already did the UV for that, and uh, I can select the plan and uh, um, and show you. So because this is a plan um, by default, so the UV is unfolded and it has its original proportion, which is a square. Uh, so it's fine and just to give it a, a texture for it. And the reason why I suggest you to do the UV first before you do the ink cloth animation is because once you get this stage, everything is ramped. And it will be really hard for you to do uh, the mapping. Say if I go to UV and uh, if I try planar mapping, and I can show you how it looks here, right? It's not good at all. And uh, if I select it, even if I select it to do a automatic mapping, so it will be really hard for you to uh, clean the mass. All right. So my recommendation: uh, do the UV and texture first before you move on. Okay. So now let's get started. So the first step is select the cloth. And go to uncloth and create an uncloth. So just use the default setting, you don't have to go to the setting box. Just select it, create uncloth. And then if I go to play bar here and I play, and you can see it started falling. And the reason it's a fall is because now it has gravity and uh, there's nothing to hold it, so it just fall forever. Okay, so the second step would be um, well. So like the table, wait, what's like this uh, uncloth first? And then hold on shift and select like this uh, table. So basically we'll select both of these two objects. Okay, but uh, make sure you select like the order right. So we'll select like the cloth first and then select like the holder, which is the table second. And then go to uncloth. And this time we'll do a create a passive collider. So apply that and let's go play. So now you can see that the table uh, is holding this uh, cover, okay. And since my scene only have a uh, one twenty frames, is not enough for uh, the end cloth to get a, a a very good shape. So what I would do is I would um, go back to original frame. So I would go to the bottom and um, change the uh, the time slider the frame to maybe about. 400, so give it uh, uh, more space to run. Okay, so now let's uh, play the animation again. Okay. As you can see, let me pause the animation here. As you can see, now I get more uh, frames. Okay, so the end cloth can get time to ramp. But the thing is, now you can see that it starts to slide from one side to another, and also there's not much wrinkle, and it's just like uh, this uh, this cloth is too thick or too hard, right? And it's just like a, a rubber band, like a plastic material, not like a cloth. Okay, so if you're not satisfied with how it looks here, you can go back to frame one and select this, uh, this cloth, and then go to the right top corner of Maya and we'll select the third button okay which is when you click on that you'll get to attribute editor okay you'll go to attribute editor and under attribute editor you will find a a node which is called uncloth shape and down below here you will have a preset so I'll we'll click on the preset and here we get a lot of things and you can select the t-shirt or silk. So these two are very common material 
for you know cloth material. So here the material I'm mentioning is referred to is the physics, physical material, not the material that shows the color, um, shows like uh, the texture of it. Okay, so let's give it a t-shirt for now and uh, let's try it. And when you select the t-shirt and add the drop down, drop down menu, okay, here's the hidden, it's cut off. So you'll see uh, replace and then blend 90%, 70%, 50%, 25%. So what does this mean? So basically if I select the t-shirt and replace, I will apply this t-shirt material, physical material to this cloth and you know and apply 100% influence for it. If I do only uh, blend 50% uh, and then what it means is I'll keep its original physical physics for 50% and then add another 50% of this t-shirt physics. Okay, same thing if I do blend 10% and then I'll keep 90% uh, of its original physics and then 10% of the t-shirt. Let's do t-shirt and replace. So we just want to give it 100% and uh, let's close it here and uh, let's play. Okay, so now you can see that you get softener, you get these uh, beautiful wrinkles and let me look at the side. Okay, it may still look a little bit too hard and too light. Okay, you can see that. It takes much, much, much longer for this cloth to actually settle down on the table. It's because now we apply the t-shirt, it's very light. <clears throat> and this since this is a t-shirt, it um it only has the gravity came with the end cloth, right? Physics. So it's super light. So now we'll just give it another physics, which will apply a um, a gravity. So we'll go to the fields. So select the cloth first and go to the fields and apply a gravity. Again, we don't have to go to the setting box, just apply it, okay? And see how it looks. So now let's play. It falls faster and every vertices has gravity. Okay, so now you can see that um, my computer makes more noise. It takes um, more RAM to render it. Okay, and let me pose the animation here. So now I just pose at about uh, 363 frame. And uh, I get a nice nice shape for the table cover. It's so similar to the last one I created, but not exactly the same because um, all the animation is generated in real time with a uh, uh, physics. So every time the vertices move in a different way and it got uh, different influences. So it can be similar but not exactly the same. See, if I look uh, from this perspective, you can see how the wrinkles are different here. Okay, so the beauty then, uh, while I did uh, the UV and texture first and then do the animation is, now if I turn on the texture, you can see I don't have to do any uh, UV work and um, and uh, texture work at all. So for this one, if I go back to its UV, okay, so here's the UV. So you can see that it's a bit mess, right? Here it doesn't look good at all, and here it is a uh, hard card. Uh, so this is why you know um, the U. Uh, that's that is because of the UV is a mess, and if you decided to do the UV after the animation, then this will happen, and it takes you a long time to putting things together. Uh, and even though you put things together, you can't get this shape. Okay. So, see how clean the UV is here. It's very good. All right. So, uh, this is how you create a table cover very, very fast and very simple. And hope you like it.